Tiny so we can do we can do a game called The Alchemist, Survivor, Paranormal Teens, Depths of Madness. What's Tiny of Bunny. Wait, have you done do you copy? No. It's a game. Yeah, but you have to pay for that. It's fine. No. Why? What? <laughs> What's, it's, what I think it's it? opening. Where, where's, where's that thing right there? Is this? Yeah, that yeah. is. Doki Doki. What's that? Is it scary? Mm, I mean, it's weird. No, it is. Well, I'm um, on it. I'm gonna play funny. Well, I mean, I thought I opened it, but. Actually, actually, I wanna play that one. Where's the top? This. I wanna... That. This, I'm gonna play this, a small one. This, this, small face. yeah. I'm gonna play it. I can't, I can't really see my face very well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one mistake. One mistake standing up. <laughs> Oh, that's a bad bunny. That's me. Why is it not fresh? Or whatever. This movie is scary. Do you press W to move? Uh, I don't know if that's fresh. Stop. Stop. at my window all night long. It wanders the field and howls like a hungry beast. An endless song weaved from all sorts of voices, shrill, gentle, fairy twine in the air. They were all shouting and laughing and arguing about something. Someone was running through the snow while casting little shadows that would fade occasionally creep close to my bed. Our house had a mind of its own, the creaky old mind of a building that had seen a lot in its days, and was seemingly trying to share it with them with the cat. The lonely house faced the forest, and the dark green thing gazed back with the tall eyes, rustling, swinging, swaying back and forth. One could come out and stand at the edge of the forest to read the I'm great at the music, you know? Wow. There was nobody behind the curtains, but it's the last time you know what I thought would be the only harm. Just, it's just my of light and shadow. Just the light. I knew it was just my imagination. I was already 12 after all. Still. the table. It's bad for your health. Look at how slouched you are. Yeah, but reading's not bad for you. No matter what. I mean, I need all the drink. I, I don't want to. I didn't protest and put the book about Conan the Barbarian aside. I was stuck on a line I couldn't understand that. finished her breakfast and was munching on some cookies. Why is she having cookies after breakfast? Uh, she wants to she wants to complain about her son reading at the table for his and then he gives her cookies after breakfast. Ah she was so, so enthusiastic she almost looked at like your typical girl from commercials. You're not going anywhere until you finish all of it. 
I, on the other hand, was still trying to drill a hole in the place of my eyes and as it would make the porridge disappear. Hazy anxiousness welled up inside, all because of the previous sleepless night, the black forest around our house, and the gloomy wind. The longer I waited, the colder the lumpy white substance became. It looked like a jellyfish from the Kausa Odyssey. I love that show. I wonder how horrifying the bottom of the ocean is. Or how cold the black forest is at night. The spoon fell out of my hand. Mom showered me with the cold glare from her green eyes. What did I just say? I'll get it. My name is Anton. I had ten seconds to catch my breath before battling the nasty forage once again. I felt around for the spoon. What is this? Carved on the other side of the table. Karina. That's in Russian though. Or whatever language it is. Ha! That's my mom's name! <laughs> I think she carved it out. With something pointy when she was little. Sure was a rascal damaging the furniture like that. She would scold me for a week if I did something similar, though. Should I remind her about it? No, she's been a bad, bad mood lately. I imagined her being my age, sitting under the table. I wondered, was Mom afraid of the dark black back then? Or the sounds coming from the attic? Or the thick forest? <laughs> I imagined my grandma coming into the little mom's room, into my little mom's room, sitting at the edge of her bed where Olya sleeps nowadays. And now, and saying in this in her soft voice, smooth voice, she doesn't look like she has a, has a small, soft, smooth voice. Grandma said, Taiga is a special place, little girl. What is Taiga? Taiga? It's watching you closely, sniffing you out, Taiga. Yeah. Maybe Taiga's the bunny. Oh, right. Yeah. Is this the bunny game? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> uh, is it? No. I did not know it was not a buggy. Aha! That was from the other game. What? That music. Oh, yeah. We had another window open. It wasn't from this game. Do you want to play the other one? Yeah. I'm gonna play Scary Game Diary right at the house, watching and seeing if there's a bad guy. I'm gonna play that one. Oh, uh, this one? Yeah. I'm gonna play it. Because it's super scary. I like scary games. <laughs> 